Hello everyone, Elron here with part 94 of my Total Terraria World Annihilation. So, I think I might be drawing a blank. Um, I'm actually running very low on the good things, um, and mainly the bad things are coming to mind. But, lucky for you, as I've just said that, I remembered one more, I guess, good thing. Um, the uh, weapon modification system uh, is uh, pretty good. Um, basically, you can take a uh, piece of shit uh, weapon. In fact, you could take a piece of shit pistol and modify it to death to the point where you've got yourself an epic sniper rifle. Um, now, of course, you probably would not do that with a normal weapon unless you're early in the game. Uh, they've got these things called legendary weapons where basically a special tougher version of a monster will drop not a unique item but an item that has a bonus trait to it. One that's marked with a star. Generally you upgrade to death something like that to um, manipulate its um, properties. So like I came across a rifle that um, shoots twice when fired. So I set it up to be a, um, a super powerful sniper rifle. Um, that is silenced. So it doesn't have the greatest range in the world, but if I'm close enough, it will fire two projectiles that both get the sneak attack critical. Um, and when you combine that with Mr. Sandman perks and uh, Ninja perks, um, which both have new meanings relative to the previous fallouts, um, they now increase sneak attack damage. Um, it becomes a destroying machine and others around won't notice me as easily because generally I'm an energy weapon person so those things are as loud as hell and so I get more successful sneak attacks um, before having to engage combat. And generally I am the stealthy type, so that works out for me. Now, I remember that uh, New Vegas also had weapon mods, but I forget if they just weren't as exciting or if it was just confusing. Like, I think there was a point um, where it wasn't clear to me what was supposed to be considered an improvement and what was supposed to be a deprovement um, when modifying weapons. Um, uh, 4 kind of lays it out better. They say uh, what improves and what deproves um, relative to the standard part um, that you're modding. Um, and also, I kind of got a nice little bailout in New Vegas because I was able to get the unique plasma rifle really early in the game, so it didn't matter because you can't weapon mod um, unique weapons. So, <coughs> so yay, there's another good thing. So, let's get to the bad. Um... Fallout 4 is kind of a misnomer. It should really be called Farmville Wasteland Edition with mild Fallout undertones. Um, because if you play the game the way that Bethesda wants you to play it, then you're going to spend your first 70 hours attaining settlements and um, building them up. And then you're going to spend uh, the rest of your game after that um, 
having to go every couple days, collect the junk they've produced, and every now and then protect them from invasions, or do some stupid radiant quest to prevent them from getting invaded in the future. It was after doing this for, you know, 70 hours that I finally uh, asked some people in the know um, if all of this junk that's the NPC in charge of getting you more entrenched into this lame system um, uh, it can actually be ignored or not um, and yeah basically as urgent as that little dick um, makes it all sound you could ignore him and the universe will move on just fine um, so actually in my next playthrough um, once I finish with this character, I uh, will make another character who will actually avoid that NPC altogether. Um, because technically, you can form all those settlements without him in the first place. And so, you know, let's just let him be locked in the attic of some museum and not care about him. Um, seems like fitting revenge. And now, let's get to the leveling system. Um, generally, I am amused, but there are some aspects that um, frustrate me to death. Um, so, they got rid of skills and replaced them with perks. So, the deal is, every time you level up, you get a perk. And you can spend the perk on anything you want that is um, within your level requirements and within your special requirements. But now the kicker is your special is also a set of perks as well. So if you don't have enough special to get Reaper's Spirits because you didn't pump up luck, you can spend, you know, the levels you need, dedicating yourself to improving your luck so you could then get Reaper's Spirit. Um, and so that's all fine and dandy, but the problem is I tend to go for Max Picklock's um, first thing, uh, which means I have my lock picking um, Max before I get to level 10 in 3 in New Vegas um, and I'll usually have my um, hacking um, up real close before that um, because as you've probably heard in my New Vegas playthrough I tend to suck uh, combat wise until you know, level 15 or 20 given the fact that I go for the um, the stealing capabilities first but nope, not in four, because the douchebags put some um, max lock picking at like level 37 or something ungodly high like that. Um, so that annoys me to death. Um, but generally, the whole replacing skills with the perk system is um, cute, for a lack of a better way to describe it. Um, Early on, I do find myself not using perks, so just letting them sit there until I get to a point where I'm like, oh, I wish I had this perk. Yeah, because the problem is, you don't know where, you know, an hour from now you're going to wind up. You might need a stupid perk to accomplish some goal in the Farmville aspect, or you might be struggling with an opponent and you need to um, have better weapon uh, strength, or you might need just a little better sneaking. Uh, well, that's it for this video. I will see you next video.